Hello everyone, I'm Rodney from 3GameMan.com and in this Q&A video I'm going to be showing you how to link Audacity with Sony Vegas. If you use Sony Vegas, you know that the audio editor that's built in, well, it really can't do much. So, let's begin. So, the first thing that you'll need to do is get an audio editor. I'd recommend Audacity. It is completely free. Go ahead and download the installer. Once installed, go into Sony Vegas, Options, Preferences, Audio, then browse, and then go to the Audacity executable, open, okay, and now you can right click on an audio file and open it up in the editor. Now one of the great things that this does, and it has all kinds of effects, but one of the cool ones is amplifying the audio automatically. It finds the peak and pretty much levels everything out. So let's just, for example, let's just listen to this without amplification. Included is the user's manual, as well as information here. So not bad, and you always want to record, you know, not peaking out, not max. So it's better to be recording audio at a lower level than a higher level because you can always like use an audio editor to amplify it. So let's go ahead and amplify it. And now have a listen to it. Included is the user's manual as well as information here on. So that's much better. Very easy to do. Now this is a great example of how useful Audacity can be. Just have a listen. So the first thing that you'll need to do is get an audio editor. I'd recommend I recorded Audacity this and the level was really, really low. The... Not a big deal. I edited it within Audacity, adjusted the levels. So, the first thing that you'll need to do is get an audio editor. I'd recommend now it sounds like this. Now, of course, automatically adjusting the audio levels can have its issues, especially if you have a lot of audio tracks, because some of them can be too loud and others too quiet. So you'll have to play with a little bit, but at least you know now how to actually incorporate an audio editor right within Sony Vegas. Well, that's it for this Q&A video, which I hope you found very useful. And as always, if you think this and other videos I produce are great, please like them and subscribe to the channel. Also, your comments are very welcome. And if you have any further questions, please let me know.